the opposition leader Mohammed El Baradan turned to Twitter today to send a warning. Here's what he tweeted. Take a look at this quote. Egypt will explode. The army must save us. What did he mean by that? Let me start with you, Scott. What do you mean by that? Well, it's hard to say. I don't know how, how much faith I would put in El Baradan's sen sensitivities to this matter. But, uh, you know, again, the, the situation is very fluid. Uh, the neighboring countries, for example, uh, Lebanon uh, is, is very unstable right now. Uh, Iran is a, uh, is a potential wild card in this situation. And we have the Suez Canal where 1.1 million barrels per day of the world's oil supply, about 2% of the world's oil supply, flows through there. This region is extremely important, and it is very important for the United States to handle it in a very uh, careful and delicate way. Representative, did you take that? And just a couple hours later, the that spokesperson for PNI says, well, he's referring to Mr. Clapper, he's well aware that the Muslim Brotherhood is not a secular organization. A little confusion at the top, huh? I cringed. Yeah, uh, I, I cringed when I heard the, uh, Clapper say that. It's, it's outrageous. It shows a severe lack of understanding of the matter. And uh, regarding uh, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, the CIA director, Panetta, he is not supposed to be delivering a political message or supporting the president's message to Congress. He's supposed to get, be giving them actual, practical, uh, solid information that he can back up with analysis. Okay. What I think it should demonstrate is a, an incredible lack of understanding about how the world works. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. I'm sorry, guys.